Okay, dear students. Today I'm going to make you revise poem. No men are foreign. Did I pronounce your word correctly? P O E M. So what is it? Correct pronunciation. Oh. So no men are foreign. Let's try to understand the meaning of this poem. Remember, no men are strange. No country is foreign. Beneath all uniforms, a single body breathes. Like ours, the land our brothers walk upon is earth. Like this, in which we all shall lie. So basically, in this poem, the poet wants to say that no person is a stranger. There is nothing like a you can say a person being strange. Okay. it means he wants to say the people who are fighting on borders for their nation they are not different from our soldiers they all are same only duty is given to them and they have to perform their duties okay see there may be difference in the way they live the way they eat what kind of clothes do they wear what kind of life lifestyle they are having okay but we all are human beings we all have same blood okay these people may belong to different religions different caste different culture different areas different traditions and cultures they may have but the thing is that they all are basic human beings okay all these differences really don't matter at all why so because they all are considered just like brothers and we all share a common land we all share a common land okay we all have given different different kind of respective work and we have to do all those respective work we all live we all survive okay and at the end when we all will die so our whole bodies will be perished in a same earth on a same earth so this is the idea that uh, poet is trying to give us that we should understand the main gist main central idea of the poem what does the poet want to convey what is his basic idea they too aware of sun and air and water are fed by peaceful harvest by wars long winters starved their hands are ours and in their lines we read a labor not different from our own uh, what are you writing banshika what are you writing divyanshi you come here harnur get up bring your notebook and sit here alu you sit here alu whatever the value points i will be giving you you are supposed to write down you also take out your notebook you should know revision time is going on and you should have books with you notebooks with you so here we in this stanza the poet just wants to say that to whom we call strangers or to whom we call foreigners basically they are using same sun do you think their sun and our sun is different those who are living in another countries and uh, we are living in india our suns are different no we all are having same in whole of the universe in whole of the world there is only one sun okay it means we use the sun we use air we use water as they do we are also doing isn't it and if we are aware of this kind of difference they are also aware of this kind of difference whatever the feelings we have for these people they also have same feelings for us See, we love our nation. They also love their nation. Okay, so same feeling 
okay so you can't say that there is foreigner among us that whatever the people we all are we all are just like brothers and we can't say that that person is a foreigner okay they also get crops they also uh, ha do harvesting in their fields they also grow food isn't it okay so you can say whatever the activity we people do they are also doing same activity as in our nation there are so many farmers in their nation also there are so many farmers who are harvesting the crops and who are arranging food okay so same like that see when war is going on we people have to face so many kind of hardships and they people also have to face same hardships as we face during war isn't it there is a lot of destruction during war okay so many relatives you can say so many friends of our or you can say uh, there are so many soldiers who uh, you can there are so many ladies whose husband have gone on border there are so many children whose father have gone on border and sometimes they are not able to survive okay so same in that country same relation same bond their father have gone their uh, you can say sons have gone and sometimes their life is their lives are no more so they also face same loss as we face so you can say there is nothing like strangers there is nothing like this word foreigners okay because all the things are going parallel if some destruction is going in our country during war same destruction is going in their country during war okay like us if we want to communicate we speak we express our ideas they also like to their language is only different otherwise feeling emotions love all the things are same if we are similar in every respect so the main focus the main idea the main thing that the poet wants to emphasize poet wants to stress upon is that there is no stranger there is no foreigner all are alike all are same isn't it now let's move to third stanza remember they have eyes like ours that wake or sleep and strength that can be won by love in every land is common life that all can recognize and understand so here basically the poet is saying that there can be a person in another country who can be a stranger who can be a foreigner but there is lot of similarity between us and those strangers to so called strangers okay why so because to whom we say stranger to whom we say foreigner don't you think that they all have same eyes we all have same eyes okay they use the word like us they all they also follow the course of earth that during that after day there is a night there is a 24 hours life in our life 24 hours are given to us every day so don't you think that they are also following the same course as we people are following they also wake up they also do hard work at night they also sleep so their routine is almost same they are also sensitive like us as we people are sensitive we have emotions we have love so same like them with them they also have emotions they also have love they also are sensitive like us they also have strength like us they also are very courteous they are sympathetic so you can write down this okay so we can say there is no difference in the way we live 
wherever we go we follow life we have similar mechanism and this mechanism can be understood by anyone so here what is the gist what is the you can say view point the poet wants to represent that no person is foreigner no person is stranger because whatever the lifestyle we people have others also have same lifestyle if we are courteous we are polite we are sensitive they also have same emotions if god has given us 24 hours day and night they also have given 24 hours day and night so why do we consider that person as a foreigner why do they, we say that this person is a stranger for us we all are alike we all are just like brothers okay let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brother it is ourselves that we all dispose us betray condemn remember we who take arms against each other it means we should keep this point in our mind that whenever we are told that we are going to hate others it means whenever instructions are given to soldiers go and fight with other soldiers you should be ready at the border so don't you think that same instructions are given to them also if instructions are given to us to hate them to cheat them same instructions are given to them to hate and to cheat to fight okay so remember we who take arms against each other it means the person are we we are taking arms against each other it means we are ready with the weapons so same like that they are also ready with the weapons isn't it if we are holding weapons and we are going to kill them they are also holding weapons and they are also going to kill us because same feelings are this side and same feelings are found on that side so how can we say that those persons are strangers those persons are foreigners who are sitting uh, sitting you can say uh, right in front of us that who are having weapons in their hands if we want to prove ourselves best if we want to win they also want to win so same feeling is going over there isn't it it is a human art that we defile our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocence of air that is everywhere our own remember no man are foreign and no countries strange here the poet further says that when we uh, pick up arms when we pick up weapons arms here is weapons so whenever we pick up weapons and arms against each other it is not you can say bringing only harm basically it is polluting the spirit inside also it is bringing pollution not outside only it is polluting our inner self it is polluting our spirit also okay which kind of pollution is going inside can anybody tell me negative vibes yes hatred jealousy okay enmity all these kind of factors would arise and it is not residing only in us in them also so it is not polluting only outer world with war only outer world is not being polluted our inner self is also being polluted one should try to understand this concept that is the gist of the poem that poet wants to represent what kind of central idea that is very much crystal clear now in front of you that when we say these are stranger these are foreigners and we are having such kind of feelings for them so first of all keep this thing in mind that they are like us as we people they are also people as we have what kind of physique they also have same physique as god has given us 24 hours they also have given the difference is only caste creed religion 
ट्रेडिशन कल्चर बैकग्राउंड लैंग्वेज कस्टम ड्रेस ईटिंग हैबिट लाइक दिस ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट अदरवाइज वी ऑल आर शेयरिंग सेम अर्थ सेम एयर सेम वॉटर सेम सन ओके बट वेन वी आर ब्रिंगिंग सच काइंड ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्शन आउटर वर्ल्ड इज बींग डिस्ट्रक्टेड देर इज अ पोल्यूशन बट द फोर मोस्ट पोल्यूशन दैट इज गोज इन आर माइंड and what is that it is hatred it is jealousy okay and such kind of spirit goes okay and it is going to surpass is you can say the qualities of good people what are the qualities of good people like innocence okay so by saying foreigner by saying stranger we are only misusing those words because it is only a big mistake it is not only a big mistake it is a blunder it is a grave mistake that we all people are doing by calling them strangers and foreigners okay so we should not we must not do such kind of blunders okay and under this false impression under this false assumption that these are for so that's why this uh, uh, this uh, caption this title is very much ap suitable appropriate that no men are for if such kind of question is asked that uh, give a reason why this caption can be considered ap suitable appropriate so these all are the reasons you can mention so here try to understand the main uh, gist of the poem what does the poet wants to convey through this poem he wants to say that whole of the world is one so let's work on this whole of the world is whole of the world is one no one should be considered no one should be considered stranger so write down you are going to write down for me not for you sorry not for me don't show that you are writing these are the notes you can keep with you okay so all of us have common feelings all of us have common feelings okay of love compassion and humanity okay so all of us have common feelings of love compassion and humanity compassion means sympathy compassion means sympathy so here poet also wants to convey a message that we all should be united to make this nation a better place to make this nation a better place isn't it that whole of the world is one 
no one should be considered stranger all of us have common feelings of love compassion and humanity and we all should be united to make this nation a better place isn't it so these are the value points that come under the category of central idea there are so many other also that i am going to discuss with you i am going to write down saksham has come in class or not not so afterwards switch on that light l is written next is by indulging in words by indulging in words we spoil the purity of our inner self purity of our in ourselves that if we are completely indulged in words it means we are going to spoil the purity of our inner self isn't it we are not only polluting the outer world we are polluting our inner self how which kind of elements would arise tell me tell me yes it will lead to yes it will lead to anger enmity hatred jealous and only and only negativity so this is the main point yes aditya wants to say something yes aditya ma'am uh, ma'am can you please repeat all the points that you have uh, given for this revision of the chapter where were you ma'am ma'am uh, one time repeat please okay so here what is the basic idea the poet wants to say that he wants to convey this message through this poem that all persons are same we use that so called word stranger and foreigner that should not be used at all because we should convey this message that we all are just like brothers whatever the lifestyle whatever the feelings we are having they person the, those who are living in another border they are also having okay so we can say that we all should be united we should not hate have hate for each other by having such kind of feelings only then we can make this world a better place because if we are having such kind of uh, feelings so we are bringing destruction and this destruction is not coming only in our nation in other nations also with whom we are fighting same destruction is going to take place if in our nation people are losing their father their son their brother in their nation also same thing is happening we can have a difference of caste creed religion clothes dressing style eating habits tradition and cultures but the blood is same we all are sharing same sun we all are sharing same air water earth so when we all will die we all will be perish in a same earth so such kind of feelings should be in our mind such kind of mentality we should develop that if we are indulging in such kind of wars we are not causing only destruction in outer world we are bringing destruction in ourself how because we are going to spoil our own spirit how our own spirit will be spoiled because 
such kind of elements will arise in our heart which kind of elements it can be anger it can be enmity it can be hatred jealous and only and only negativity it means we are going to cause harm only and only to ourselves we will bring we can bring harm to ourselves so these are the value points that i have given you you jot down all these points and with the help of these points you can understand the main gist of the poem what does the poet wants to convey clear and in this poem there is one poetic device that is used in abundance this poetic device is simile and simile poetic device is can be recognized when we have been given like word and two things are being compared using word like like word is there and it means the comparison is being made so what is that so i will just show you the poem and tell me where is simile ha huh? like cars yes like cars very good find out more lines earth like this eyes like cars so this is the main poetic device that is used in abundance in this poem like yes so whenever like word is there whenever you think two things are being compared so you can say it is simile clear now i am going to ask you some of the questions reply me fast beneath all uniforms what uniform do you the poet is speaking about beneath all uniforms so what kind of uniforms soldiers soldier uniform soldier uniforms yes here uniform is of soldier this is being depicted no i would consider that child the most intelligent one would be tell me to what is the meaning of uniform here ma'am color religion national nationality yes because every one person good is having different color his color can be different his caste can be different his creed his religion so all these are the uniforms we people are wearing but under all those uniforms we all people are same so here uniform doesn't mean soldier uniform here uniform means caste creed religion nationality okay so all these are considered uniform am i clear with this is it clear so bachche in evening you go through this poem again till you find any kind of difficulty if any of the line is not clear if central idea is not clear any of the message is not properly understood by you you can ask me and prepare this poem thoroughly and keep this list of value points with you very very carefully during your revision test during your exam preparation you will feel it very very beneficial for you at a glance you will be able to understand the main gist of the poem clear okay students i'm central idea will come in exam or not beta if you know the central idea then you'll be able to understand the poem any question related to poem can be asked okay